we will now require that before we start working with any endodontic file, way one or way one gold, we must, we must create a glide path. What is the glide path? We are going to show is the road map for files to follow. We are going to show all the files what is that road map that they need to follow. For that purpose, we will take this instrument, which is called the ProGlider. The ProGlider will be very, very helpful in helping us at that working length to create the glide path for way one to follow. After we have completed our glide path with ProGlider, we will take way one gold and we will go in increments of three millimeters inside the canal. That's the amplitude stroke every three millimeters. We will remove the file, observe the file if it has dentinal debris, clean those dentinal debris, irrigate, and every time that we irrigate, the needle will be penetrating deeper and deeper into the canal. So we irrigate. After irrigation, we take that file that we established the working length with, and then we will ascertain that we have not blocked ourselves. In other ways, we're, we are going to recapitulate. After that, we irrigate again, and then we go back with way one goal for another three millimeters in an amplitude stroke, down apically. And we repeat exactly the same uh, steps. We remove way one, we observe the instrument, we clean the dentinal debris uh, that it's in the flutes of the instrument, we irrigate, now you will see that the needle will go deeper and deeper. Then we take that instrument that we established that working length. We ascertain that we have not blocked ourselves. It goes all the way to working length. Then we irrigate again, and then we repeat the same process with way one goal until we reach working length. Please, don't take the instrument in one instance, in one stroke, as far as you can, because that instrument was not created to do that. The beauty of the new cross-section of Way one Gold will allow all the dentinal debris to come up coronally. So we need frequent irrigations and you will be able to see with loop over the or with the operating microscope all those debris just coming up. And we are not going to block ourselves by virtue of recapitulating every single time after Way one Gold comes out of the canal and then we are going to be able to achieve a very good working length with Way one Gold. Let me take you right now through a uh, plastic block. Here we have irrigations, as I mentioned before. It's a critical part of root canal therapy. We irrigate. Now we are going to establish that patency in the canals. We are going to go with a very fine instrument, a number eight, a number 10, and to see that we are able to go a little bit beyond the apex. Not that much, just half a millimeter, a millimeter. We irrigate again. Every time that a file is used inside of canal, it requires irrigation. You, has, you can see here how far the irrigation needle goes. Now we establish that working length. Here you can see that the instrument is very, very tight. We are almost at working length. We attach a uh, clip for the apex locator. You are going to start hearing now when it gets to the apex right there, beep, 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 beep. That means that we have achieved that vertical dimension with the electronic apex locator. We will adjust the rubber stop, we take the file, and now we have acquired that vertical dimension, the working length. We measure that, we record that, we will irrigate. Remember that every file that comes out of the canal, the canal requires irrigation. And now we are going to proceed to create that glide path. In this case, we use the Pro Glider. In increments of three millimeters, we go all the way to working length. We irrigate again. We ascertain that we have not blocked ourselves with the instrument that we established that working length. Then we remove the instrument. We will irrigate again. And now we are going to proceed the canal shaping with way one gold. In amplitude strokes of three millimeters, we will initiate that uh, instrumentation. You can see here clearly how effective and efficient is this instrument. Now the irrigation needle is going to penetrate deeper and deeper into the canal, just the space that has been created by Wave 1 Gold. We remove the irrigation needle. Now we will 
check, we will recapitulate, we will be sure that we have not blocked ourselves, and for this purpose we use the file that we established working length with, irrigate again, and then we go to the second time with wave one goal, another three to four millimeters amplitude strokes. You can see the efficiency of this instrument, how it cuts dentinal walls. We observe the instrument that has the debris. We clean the instrument. We go back now even deeper with our irrigation needle. Irrigate, irrigate. We ascertain that the canal is still patent with the file that established working length. You can see the deeper penetration of our chemicals during root canal therapy with the side-vented irrigation needle. And now we will go in this instance all the way to working length with way one goal. As soon as we achieve that length, when the rubber stop touches the reference point, we don't need to continue reciprocating inside the canal. You can see the efficiency of this file in cutting dentinal chips. We clean the instrument. We will irrigate with the needle now as deep as we can. The, always the needle has to be loose in the canal. It can never, ever be lodged inside the canal. We irrigate. Once again, we will ascertain that we have not blocked ourselves with the very small instrument that we established working length. After that, we will irrigate again, and now we go through the irrigation procedures. In this case, we are going to be using um, the endoactivator with sodium hypochlorite, and then we will rinse the canal. Then we will use uh, other solutions as Q-mix, or in this, on another case, uh, uh, EDTA. Now we are verifying with a size verifier that we have sufficient space in the canal to receive our core material for obturation. We dry the canals very well. After drying the canals very well, we need to place some cement. And we place the cement at the entrance of the canal. Then we remove the excess of cement. It has to be a very, very fine layer of cement. We use cements, and then we insert the core obturator until it reaches working length. You have seen how easy it is to fill the canals also, in this case, with Goracor. Way one gold will have also paper points and good aperture points, obturators, size verifiers that matches the taper of Way one gold. After you have seen the use of Way one gold on a plastic cube, let me take you through a clinical case. And now we are going to see this molar, this lower molar, done with way one goal. Here we have the tooth that has been ascertained that requires root canal therapy and is restorable. We do the access opening. After our access opening, we remove the contents, in this case, with an instrument of the pulp chamber. We ascertain that the canals are patent with a very small file. You can see the fluids on the very flooded pulp chamber. Once we ascertain that patency, we will need to create that glide path with the ProGlider rotary instrument. We are irrigating here, and once again, that pulp chamber has to be flooded, always flooded with the chemicals that we use. In this case, is sodium hypochlorite. And after we have established the working length, we create the glide path. As you can see here, with the ProGlider rotary instrument, we are going little by little in amplitude strokes of three millimeters all the way to working length. Sometimes it takes several steps to achieve this length. And after that, we irrigate the canals. We, re we verified that the canals are still patent. We make sure that we have not blocked ourselves. And then we use way one goal in amplitude strokes of three millimeters inside the canal. We can see on the left that we are irrigating. We see very clearly in the center that we are uh, we're making sure that the canal is still patent. 
and after a file comes out of the canal, more irrig irrigation is required. Then we continue with Way 1 Gold for the second time. Now I'm pretty sure we are preparing the middle of the canal. Amplitude strokes of 3 millimeters, 3 to 4 millimeters. We irrigate. We make sure that we have not blocked ourselves. And then we irrigate again. And then we continue until we reach working length with way one gold. And this is what you are looking right now. I think that this was the last step on the use of way one gold. And now the canal has been already prepared. Then we will irrigate, make sure that we have not blocked ourselves, and irrigate again. After that, we irrigate, we make sure that the canal has not been blocked, we irrigate again, and now we proceed to use the technology like a uh, endo activator to remove the smear layer before we are going to obturate the canal and we can use solutions as QMIX in conjunction with the endo activator. And I have taken you through the directions of use. We went through a plastic block, we went through a clinical case, and we show you a extracted teeth ascertain the performance of this instrument through an incredible technology, which is a micro CT. You have seen how well this instrument will prepare the canals without procedural errors. I'm convinced that you are going to incorporate this instrument in your armamentarium. I'm pretty sure that you are going to use this instrument very, very soon.